This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Ford Ignition Lock using the Tibby Key System. Now, if you live in the US, you may not be familiar with this lock because even though Ford did use it in a wide range of vehicles, it was mostly limited to their European offerings. This includes European variants of the Escort, the Fiesta, Focus, Falcon, Sierra, Granada, and the Transit Connect van. Now on the Transit Connect van, I believe this lock actually did make its way to US shores. You can also find a variant of this lock in various Jaguars that are sold in the US. Now this lock is very, very different from most automobile locks. Most automobile locks are wafer locks. This is a disc detainer lock. It has six discs with four cuts on each of the discs. And to make it particularly difficult to pick, it tensions off of a random disc, much like the Abloy ProTech or the Avis Plus, and it does have false gates in addition to true gates. Topping all that off, we have a hexagonally shaped keyway into which most of my disc detainer picks will not even fit. So it sounds like it would be really hard to pick. However, due to certain characteristics of this lock and a really clever tool that's available cheaply on a lot of Chinese websites. The first time I picked this, it took me well under a minute. So let's take a look at this tool. Here it is. You can see it looks a lot like the key that goes into this lock. However, rather than the bow on the bottom, we have a series of knobs. And if we look carefully, you can see each of these knobs individually changes the angle on one portion of the key tip. The idea is that we would insert this into the lock. We would find the discs from which we have to tension the lock, which is the number four cut or cuts. And then we would use the remainder of the knobs to differentiate between false gates and true gates, after which we could open the lock up. Now that sounds pretty tricky, but in practice it is really, really fast. So first thing to know when inserting this into the lock, you have to make sure all of these discs or these little angles on the tip are lined up. And you can do that one of two ways, either line them up using your fingers, or this does come with a little rod that you can insert through each of the knobs that holds them all in place. Frankly, I find this is unnecessary. So let's insert this into the lock. First order of business is to try to turn each of these knobs as far clockwise as it will go. Now you can see three of them turned and three did not. The three that did not are all number four cuts. So I can tension this lock off of any of these four discs. So I'll do that now. And on these other knobs, these other three discs, my job is to differentiate between false gates and true gates which is very, very easy because the true gates are much, much wider than the false gates. So we can see we have a lot of movement right here. This is probably a number one cut, but let's check the other positions. Not as much movement, not as much movement. Okay, definitely a number one cut. Moving on to the next, not a lot of movement, not a lot of movement. There we go, much more movement. That's probably a three cut. And the final one, not much movement, not much movement. There we go, another three cut. So as you can see, we are turning the tailpiece now. Interestingly enough, if we take, let's take a close look at this tool, because this is not only a picking tool, it's also a decoding tool. If you read the tool, write down this straight line on this pin, you can see 413344. And those are actually the cuts. Let's take a look at our little tag on the key, 413344. So after picking this lock, we also have enough information to go cut a new key, assuming you have the equipment to cut one. Now this is not a, an unknown exploit. These tools and these locks have been around for a very long time. And in fact, where these locks are sold, there's actually a cottage industry of replacing them. And that's particularly so on the Transit Connect van, which are often used by tradesmen to store very, very expensive tools. Obviously, you can't have it where it can be picked open 
relatively easily and very, very quickly. So that's all I have for you today on this Ford ignition lock using the Tibby key system. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.